Hello my wonderful sea slug friends, my name is Chloe Henderson and welcome to my channel. Today's video is my March updates vlog and as you can see behind me I am in my new little filming space. I just filmed a clip of me doing this so you'll see that a bit later on in the updates but yeah I really wanted to have a nice backdrop for myself for when I'm filming my videos and it's really nice for me to be able to look around in my studio and see all of my artwork up on the wall. <laughs> At the moment it cuts off here, <laughs> there is a line where the like art cuts off but I really want to make it go all the way to the top so I need to make more art and I need to make more prints so that's on my list soon. <laughs> Unfortunately making art this month has been a little bit difficult as you might have noticed I've hurt my wrist <laughs> and this is my drawing hand so it's made things a lot more difficult this month I haven't done nearly as many drawings as I wanted to I finally managed to finish my Loki drawing so that one's finished I got started on my Howl drawing and I got started on my Shira drawing as well and I managed to get a drawing done for one of my wonderful zine friends who's making a zine all about cats and I drew Thor, my cat, um, so I managed to get some drawings done, I managed to get some drawings started, but yeah, it's been difficult this month. I've not been able to do nearly as much as I've wanted to. I really wanted to make my first ever tutorial this month and I got started, I wrote all the plan, I made all of the plans happen, I bought the supplies that I needed, <laughs> and then this happened and I realised that I wasn't going to be able to film it properly, I wouldn't have been able to do it justice and I wouldn't have been able to make the resources that I wanted to make for my patrons and yeah so I haven't done as much as I wanted this month and it's rubbish um but I don't want to mourn too much of these updates <laughs> I don't want it to be all doom and gloom I want to celebrate all the wonderful things that I did manage to get done this month so let's get on with March and let's see everything that I got up to this month it's Saturday today and I'm sitting down to chill out at my desk, watch some YouTube videos and finally finish off all of my desk parts. I'm at the varnishing stage, all of the paint is done as you can see, check out my awesome rainbow and I'm painting on the varnish just now which is this awesome little pot of rust-oleum glitter varnish and it's gonna look so cool. <laughs> I love it so much already and I've only painted like half of the pot so I'm going to be doing the second coats today and finishing off like the bottom part as you can see I've only sort of painted the insides and the top part and I'm going to be painting the bottoms today and then probably giving them all a second coat just to make them that extra bit glittery and a little bit more resistant to any like pens and that going into the pots and potentially scratching off the paint or whatever I want it to be quite a thick coat of varnish so they're protected and I can't wait for it to be done. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lovely organized desk once more instead of the mess that it currently is, just with random stuff everywhere. Not only that, but this random pile of pens and stuff that's on my floor because I don't have pots to organize it in, but I will soon and I'm super excited. <laughs> So I have finally finished my desk pots. Look at them, they're so shiny. I love them so much. So now I'm just waiting on Stuart to get home so I can steal his drill and drill them into this piece of wood and then they're gonna sit along my desk. And then all I need to do after that is tidy up this big mess. <laughs> Put all my paints away and get rid of all those plastic bags. And yeah, I'm so excited to finally have an organized desk and my paint pots are so shiny and I love them. I'll show you in a minute what they look like when they're done. <laughs> my pots are finally complete look at them I'm so excited they're so shiny and all of my stuff is now back in them and my desk looks so much neater and it's so colorful and I love it and I'm so pleased that they're finished I finally got round to finishing painting my business sketchbook and as you can see it's really shiny <laughs> And I love it so much. It makes me so happy when I bring it out to do little business exercises. So yeah, enjoy the shininess. So from here, around, 
and through the same hole again. So when you bring your thread through. So I just took part in this event from Glasgow Zine Library. Sorry about the noise in the background. My neighbor is cutting his lawn. Um, and we made little stitched together hand bound books. I made books. Uh, I did, I did a book binding course like such a long time ago at uni and I completely forgot all about all of the skills that I made at that time so I'm so glad to have done this little workshop it was fantastic to just be able to stitch these two books within like an hour I didn't think I'd be able to like make a whole book in <laughs> just such a short workshop but it went really well this one's my favorite I think it turned out really cool it's the Japanese bookbinding method and it like opens really flat and really nice so I'm gonna use these two little books as sketchbooks to practice my collage skills in because I thought that would be really fun and yeah I had such a great time and really enjoyed it so thank you uh, Jacinda for that it was it was so much fun and thank you uh, Glasgow Zine Library <laughs> my favorite time of the week is when we managed to get out for an adventure at the weekend and get in touch with our natural spaces that's been the only good part about this pandemic and being stuck inside is that we've taken so much more time to actually enjoy our natural spaces. We may have been rebellious and ignored this sign. So I'm currently waiting to be let into a Zoom event with Glasgow Zine Library for a facial self-massage workshop. And I'm super excited to do this because I have a lot of issues with my jaw. I have jaw pain and um, suffer from myofacial pain. That's, <laughs> that's the correct term for it. And it sucks and it means that there's a lot of tension in my face all of the time. So I hope doing this workshop will benefit me in those ways. And that's why I'm filming myself at the start so you can see my beautiful face before it starts and I'll film again afterwards. So the little description is, during the workshop we'll be exploring the anatomy of the face and practicing ways to relieve tension in this area of the body, which is often neglected. The aim of the workshop is to democratize the field of massage and provide techniques to incorporate into daily life. So I hope this can be something that I can use to start off my day every day or perhaps end my day and just a sort of little meditative practice to make me feel a little bit better and hopefully improve some of the pains that I have in my face and around my jaw area. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this and I've just realised that I need to prepare a few things before this event so I'm going to go downstairs and get some warm water and moisturiser but I'm excited to have a go at this and see, see what happens so I'll update you again at the end of this workshop I suppose. So I've just finished the workshop, as you can maybe tell, my face is all shiny and red. Uh, we obviously used a lot of moisturiser while we were doing it, so excuse my shiny face. And it's all red on my cheeks, I like look a bit flushed, <laughs> which is interesting. But that was really, really nice. It was so calming and felt great for releasing like the anxiety from my face. And as I said, I've got like a lot of tension in my jaw, so a lot of the exercises were really focused on that and it was good to like feel like the tension was moving out. Um, whether that's a placebo or not, I'm not sure, but it was really nice and really calming. And I think I'd like to use this in my daily meditation that I do in the morning and encompass this into that so I can hopefully start to feel a little bit better facially if that makes sense and like yeah hopefully relieve some of the tension in my jaw because it's always so much worse when I wake up in the morning because I've obviously been grinding my teeth away at night and my jaw's all like ah in the morning so hopefully this will be a really nice uh, way for me to wake up and something that's nice and relaxing and we made little sort of zines as part of it which I've got all of my notes from the workshop and I'm just gonna sit down just now and finish it off and take a few more notes and just feel grounded in this experience. It was really nice, so thank you, Olivia. Uh, it was a great workshop, I really loved so it. I finally got around to finishing my little zine that I made during the facial self-massage workshop. I collaged this little page together after the workshop because I just wanted to sit down and go through what I'd learned and just chill out and relax. So it's just collaged from some magazine pages, as you can see. Sorry, my camera's having a bit of a <laughs> struggle to focus. 
Um, and then during the event we took notes, as you can see, so these are some of the benefits of facial massage which I wrote down here. And then I printed out this little resource that um, was on one of the slides, it's a diagram of the skin and what the cells look like in their arrangement. And then she described um, the benefits of facial massage and the exfoliation as being like shedding a snake skin, so your body's regenerating and these new changes in your skin are helping you to progress with your day and with life in general, so I quite like that, so I drew a little snake. And then I printed out this little resource as well, which is a diagram of some of the facial muscles, if you can see that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, and some of their functions and um, that sort of helped me realise what the different techniques that we were doing would, what, like which muscles they were stimulating. Um, and then this is us starting to go into the actual workshop itself. So. I basically wrote down a little timeline of the different techniques that we were using so I could go back to this and I think I'm just going to keep this in my bedside cabinet where I store all my like moisturisers and all my um, skincare stuff so I've always got this and I can check back if I forget how to do some of the things. So we started off with a meditation and some grounding and just getting in touch with our body and then we warmed up by pulling stupid faces which was great um, and we um, sort of put these damp cotton wool, although I've only had a towel so I used a towel along our face to cleanse and exfoliate and then we started into the massage techniques itself and I'm not going to go through all of them but these are sort of my little diagrams of um, the techniques that we used and I drew crappy little faces, <laughs> not my best sketches but I was trying to do it quickly while we were doing the um, while we were actually doing the massage and then the little blue lines are sort of the motions that my hand would be taking across the face and whatnot. And then to finish off the session we did a little experimental drawing alongside some music and we were just to draw how we felt and this is like the feelings and the movements that I was going with. So like the black lines are kind of how my face felt so we've got like I guess these are probably my cheeks a representation of and We'd moved around so much that I was feeling quite hot there and then my jaw um, are these lines and then this little crack because I have um, pains in my jaw and the left side is particularly bad and although this uh, workshop on the whole made me feel really relaxed there was this part of my jaw that just felt a little bit achy so we've got these little like cracks and some pain lines and then my forehead felt pretty calm and then these blue lines are just sort of the feelings emanating out so some spirals and some dots and yeah <laughs> a little experimental drawing so yeah I really I really love this workshop it was great and I really look forward to incorporating these techniques into my daily skincare routine I think it's gonna be uh, really good for me so yeah thank you Glasgow Zine Library and Olivia this was a fantastic workshop and I really enjoyed it we're up to 30 people on the Discord and I'm so excited. I'm currently sitting here with Thor just going through everybody's messages and it's so awesome to have you guys all on there. Hello, it's me, voiceover Chloe. So I'm quickly just dropping in to tell you all about my Discord. I got, um, I launched it this month but I didn't really film many of the clips of me doing that so I just want to quickly tell you all about it just now. So I created a Discord community. It's called the Sea Slug Artist Collective and it's basically an awesome space for art folks to hang out in. We're up to, I think, 91 members at the time of filming this, which is awesome. I can't believe there's so many people there. So I will leave a link down in the description below to join us. Come and join the Sea Slug Artist Collective. Become one of us. It's going to be amazing. It's such a great space already. People are getting in discussions and commenting, sharing their work, sharing resources. It's fantastic. I love it so much. And I'm so excited that I managed to create a community around my own artwork because I feel like that was something that was really missing in my work. It, as being an artist can be like quite insular, you're working in your studio by yourself and I wanted to network but I'm a socially anxious being and with the current situation at the moment it's difficult to get out into the real world and actually make friends and meet artists so this is my way of trying to create a community doing it online and hopefully in the future it might lead to some meetups or perhaps exhibitions, zines, all of that wonderful stuff. So if you want to join us there's a link down in the description below and yeah join us it's amazing it's so cool. When Thor wants attention while I'm editing my videos he likes to rub his face on my laptop which is very nice of you.
and unlick it, apparently. Please stop licking my laptop. <laughs> and then you'll get distracted by birds and stop. Oh. Hello. Yes. It's very lovely working with you, mate. I like having a desk buddy. But at the same time, you do get in the way quite a lot. So I have finally finished my Loki drawing. Ta-da! My patrons have had their early access view at the time lapse and I'm just uploading it to uh, my YouTube just now so everyone else can see it. So by the time that this vlog goes out you'll have seen it too and I'll link it down in the description and it'll be in the iCards but this is what he looks like. Ta -da! <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm really proud of this one, I think I did a really good job. Look at this little pile of awesomeness that just arrived for me from Artisan UK. I'm doing a zine workshop with them this evening on myths and folklore and I'm super excited and this is a little pack that they sent me from the giveaway that I entered on Instagram so thank you so much Artisan UK. This is so cool. I'm really looking forward to colouring in this awesome little colouring page. I love this print and I'm going to put it up on my wall somewhere. And then there's a little cool guide for um, making a zine which I'm going to stick into my sketchbook. And there's some gorgeous smelling lavender some little stickers and gemstones and then this sprig of um I think it's like an oat spray but I'm not 100% sure but Thor loved playing with it when I was unboxing it so I think I'm gonna give it to him. Thank you I'm so much I'm looking forward so much to the workshop it's gonna be great. Over the weekend Stuart and I went to a zine making workshop hosted by Artazine UK and Three Angles Art. It was really interesting. It was about myths and folklore, or it was supposed to be anyway. I think it ended up being a bit of a ramble, but I quite enjoyed the pace of it. They talked a lot about the folklore of the everyday, which I liked the idea of, and they talked a lot about spring, and I think that's what led me to make this little zine. So I was mostly just inspired by the magazines that I had to hand, and I just wanted each page to be a little representation of how I feel about spring, really just using the images that were in the magazine that I was looking through. So I didn't really have a plan, as you can probably tell um, from the little zine, and each page is its own separate artwork. They all relate, they're all on the theme of spring, hello Thor, <laughs> um, but they don't follow a pattern, they don't necessarily follow each other. They are all their own little things, so I just made them with the images that I had. <laughs> and Lars decided to come and investigate. <laughs> um, if he knocks something over, that will be chaos. But yeah, I really enjoyed just experimenting with different techniques, playing with the imagery that I had, using little drawings and collage together, and just not really thinking, just making and just going for it. It was nice to just sit down and make something without loads of thought going into it and just being really spontaneous and intuitive. So yeah, this is a little zine that I made. <laughs> I and Stuart made this little one. His is a bit more thought through and a little bit deeper than mine. His follows a little story and it's a little narrative zine and I really like it. It's quite dark, <laughs> a little bit bleak. I wasn't expecting him to make something like this. Um, but yeah, I like, I like what he's done. And he thinks his illustrations are rubbish, but I don't. I think he's much better than he thinks he is. Especially this one. How good is this? It looks great. And I think his was inspired initially because we were talking about spring and environmentalism. And during the <laughs> workshop, one of the little scabs on his arm started bleeding so he just wiped his own blood on this zine and that's what inspired it. So yeah, these are the little zines that we made. It was a good workshop and I like making art with Stuart, so it was good fun. We're doing another craft club and we're making clay stuff. Stuart's made this adorable little rat with a slice of cake or pizza or pie. Never a good sign when you can't actually tell. Well, I can... Oh, hmm. That's mean, but I think it's good. What is it then? It's pizza. Okay, that's not got any toppings on it. It's cheese pizza. It always looks like that. Okay. What's the little dish for? So, so the rat can eat the pizza? Yes. Could you pretend to be a bit more happy? <laughs> no, no. And I've made a 
nipple incense holder thing that is a bit wrinkly, but aren't we all? And a little snake in a basket or something. I don't know. I was trying to see if I could make a pot, but it's pitiful. But there's a snake in it now, so redeeming. <laughs> So our wonderful squidly kitten has posted an awesome call out for her midnight zibbies zine in the open call section of our discord and this is what it's all about. You should definitely check out because I think she's extended the deadline so by the time that this vlog goes out it'll still uh, be open for submissions and you should definitely check it out. I'll leave it linked in the description down below and I decided to draw Thor <laughs> as an ice cream cone. <laughs> Ta-da! So I'm gonna go find Thor just now and see what he thinks of it. <laughs> there he is. Hello. Hello. Oh, are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? Look at this, it's you. Do you like it? You don't really care because you're sleepy. <laughs> do you think it looks like you? I do. I think I managed to capture your chunky little face pretty well. <laughs> and I think you suit being an ice cream cone. What do you think? Do you like it? Well, you're purring. That means it's good, right? Mm -hmm. Hi. You don't really care about my art, do you? You just, you just want naps and scritches. <laughs> Well, that's what cats are all about, and that's exactly what the zine is all about. So when it's up, I will, of course, drop it into this vlog, and we can check out the Midnight Zoomy zine together. It's gonna be so cool, isn't it? I'm excited. <laughs> Thor just wants scritches. So I'm just about to film the intro for this vlog. I've set up my tripod, as you can see. And I'm going to basically make this blank wall a little advertisement for my own art and give myself a lovely backdrop to sit against when I'm filming my intros, filming my TikToks and just filming my videos. So I've got my box of prints ready and I've got my box of postcards and we're going to basically fill up this wall with all my art. So I thought you'd like to watch me do that. So this is it, this is the wall that I finished. It looks like a bit of a weird shape from afar, but it's just, I needed to cover all the corners of where the um, screen actually cuts around. Um, and eventually I'd like to fill it so it's like this whole wall. But I ran out of blue tack. <laughs> I was starting to run out of my larger prints and I like it all being different sizes. So I've got a bunch of postcards, but not so many larger prints. So that just makes me realize that I need to do more art <laughs> and make larger prints. But this is what it looks like and I'm super pleased, it looks really cool. The lighting in here is not great so I've ordered myself a light as well and I think filming my videos with a proper like um, studio light will be much better. Because as you can see it's a little bit dark over in this corner. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I love it so much, I really like it and I sit on this <laughs> little um, chest of drawers so that's where I'll sit. And the sort of screen you'll see will be like this almost but with my face sort of angled a little bit because that's just the way that the tripod sits but yeah I'm pretty pleased with it it looks really cool what do you think let me know in the comments down below <laughs> so even though I felt like I didn't do that much this month I actually did a bunch this month so I'm proud of myself for managing to get through this nonsense and my anxiety stuff and yeah make work happen even though I felt rubbish a lot of this month so hopefully next month I'll be feeling a little bit better hopefully this will heal I've got a doctor's appointment coming up soon and hopefully it'll be okay and I'll manage to get through it and I'll manage to make the work that I've got like half started and I really want to do the tutorials 
there's so much I want to get done this month and listing all of these prints and postcards in my shop and listing zines and ah, everything. Also Glasgow Zine Month, Glasgow Zine Month, Glasgow Zine Fest is on in April for the whole of April. I'll be posting about it on all of my socials but I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You should check it out. I'm tabling at their virtual festival and there's loads of great events happening so I'll leave that link down there and I'm talking about it a lot on the Discord so if you want to see all of the things that I'm going to and all of the events then do check out on the Sea Slug Artist Collective, the Discord community and yeah join in, it's going to be great fun and all of, all of the zine stuff, Coin Operated Press is part of it as well and yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting involved in all of the zine events and hopefully making more zines this month too. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up in April, hopefully you'll see my store populated with all of this art and hopefully I'll be able to get more actual drawings finished, more videos made, more everything. I'm excited and hopeful. I'm feeling good this month because my issues are getting or starting to be taken care of so I've got that like positive energy <laughs> flowing from that and I'm really hopeful that I can get over the various things that have been plaguing me this March so yeah send me healing vibes wish me luck <laughs> um, send me any of your self-care tips if you've got awesome self-care tips drop them in the comments below I could really deal with them at the moment <laughs> but that's all for me for today and I hope you enjoyed this little video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see all of the wonderful thing things that I've just talked about and stay tuned for my next vlog updates. Do oh, and don't forget to hit that little notification bell, otherwise you won't be notified of all of the videos that I make, and that would suck. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.